and welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Romanowska and I am a certified family law specialist practicing family law in the Bay Area, California. Today I would like to talk about common words in family law and also abbreviations in family law. First, custody and visitation. Some people call me and they say, I want 50% of the custody. What they mean and I always uh, ask uh, what they mean is visitation. So there are two parts into uh, child custody and visitation. Child custody has two uh, different subsections, physical custody and legal custody. Physical custody is where is the child primarily residing. And that could relate to visitation, which I will talk in a sec. And then legal custody. Legal custody is typically joined and it's about who makes primarily or who makes decisions, important decisions for the child, such as doctor, religion, school, and joint means both decide, meaning one parent cannot decide without other parent consent about these type of decisions. Now let's talk about physical custody. Uh, physical custody can be joint, can be solo. Solo means where primarily the child resides and joint meaning if parent have 50-50 visitation. So now we talk about child visitation. Child visitation, and some people say, oh, I have 20% visitation. Well, the percentage comes in when we talk about child support. The child support is calculated based on both parties, both parents' income, and the percentage of their visitation. And the percentage you can figure out by going online, typing child support uh, calculation California, and the first site that has .gov at the end, you can click and then there is a subsection advanced, and then you see a list how to calculate child support. Second abbreviation is MSA. MSA is Marital Settlement Agreement. So before the marriage, we have premarital agreement. After we get married, postmarital agreement or postnup. And during the divorce proceeding, we have Marital Settlement Agreement, MSA. Next abbreviation is RFO or OSC or request for order. It's a form FL 300 that we filed in we filed with the court in order to get court's attention. So OSC also is order to show cause. It's similar. So we asked the we asked the judge to make an order. Next, petition and respondent. Um, in, in criminal law, we have defendants and prosecution. In family law, we have two parties. It's always petitioner who files the petition and respondent is who responds to the petition. Next, bench bar, mandatory settlement conference, and SOC. All is the same. The different counties use different terminology for the same thing, which is mandatory settlement meaning mandatory, it's required before going to a trial. Bench bar term is used in Marin. Mandatory settlement conference is used in San Francisco County and SOC is used in Santa Clara County. Next, short cost hearing. Short cost hearing is the same as a request for order. When we file a request for order, then we get a first hearing that is 20, 20 minutes on the calendar and it's short cost, meaning it's only 20 minutes. There, and there is a long cost hearing, which is longer than 20 minutes. It's close. It's similar to a trial, can be the trial. It's, it could be two hours. It could be three hours. It could be two days. What is readiness calendar? It only, I'm aware of readiness calendar only in San Francisco. It's typically on Mondays, and when you file with San Francisco court and ask for custody and visitation, then on Mondays, the judge assigns on the readiness calendar, meaning getting ready, it, there will be no hearing. Typically, the judge assigns mediation and orientation. Orientation is 30 minute online class or video you watch, and mediation is a facilitator assigned by the court who will talk to both parties in order to get 
parties agree to a schedule. Now, some counties are recommending counties in mediation and some counties are not recommending counties. What does that mean? San Francisco, for example, is not recommending counties, meaning if both parties come to mediation on custody issue or visitation and they don't reach an agreement, the mediator does not recommend a schedule. In Alameda and uh, San Mateo County, for example, uh, the mediator does recommend and then the recommendation is usually followed by the judge. Why? Because mediator sp spends way more time with the parties than 20 minutes. Sometimes it's three hours finding out all the details and the mediator is very well equipped to deal on a daily basis with parents um, not settling their custodial visitation issues. Next, CP. What is CP? CP is community property or SP, separate property. So community property is what we accumulate during the marriage from the date of marriage until the date of separation and separate property what's outside of that before the date of marriage and after date of separation. FC means family code. FCS meaning family, family court facilitator. It's the same what I was talking about about mediation. TRO, temporary restraining order. And CMC is case management conference. Case management conference is probably one of the less stressful um, hearings that we have it when both parties are coming in and the judge is asking, why haven't you settled what's missing? And pot potentially um, telling the parties what to file. Typically it's mandatory to file preliminary declaration of disclosures and another term, which includes two forms, FL-150 and FL-142, meaning income and expense declaration and assets and debts. Parties exchange, they don't file, exchange it and file FL-141 saying, this is the proof that we exchanged. And that at the case management conference, typically that's what judge would like to see, that parties both exchange it and file these forms so that the case can move forward, meaning everything is on the table, everyone knows what's involved financially and otherwise. And then the court um, assigns sometimes, most likely, mandatory settlement conference, bench bar or SOS, depending on what county you're in. I hope that was helpful and I will see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.